I heard my mom talk about going to church this morning and she said the weirdest stuff. She said we have to go because my sister is waving palms because it's Palm Sunday. What the heck is Palm Sunday? I mean, I'm all for it being Sunday, but what is Palm Sunday? Palm Sunday. No, 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 you know, Palm Sunday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, right, look, you you guys have got it all all wrong, all right? This, this is not what Palm Sunday is all about. No, it's a special day in the life of Jesus. Here, watch this video and find out. I can't wait, 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 I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Yes. He's coming. I know, I know. He's going to be here so soon. I've been waiting for so long for this, oh my gosh. He's literally like the most famous rock star that there is. I know, I know. You know what? I don't think he knows where we are, so I think we need to make some noise so he knows where we are. Are we ready? Yep. We are here, we are here, we are here, we are here. Oh my gosh! <laughs> sign my forehead, Mr. Robot, please! Please sign my forehead, please! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Do I have a pen? Oh, I don't have a pen. Please tell me when you have a pen. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, wasn't that a cool story? I mean, that robot was a rock star and they couldn't wait to meet him. You know, that reminds me of another story that happened oh, several thousand years ago. There was another rock star and he came to town and there were tons of people lining the streets waiting for him. And his name was Jesus. They were told that the king was coming. But guess what? Jesus wasn't your average kind of king. He didn't have fancy clothes or ride some big horse or have an army with him. He rode to town on a simple donkey. And you know why? It's because Jesus wanted to be like everybody else. But we know he wasn't because he was God's son. And he came to really teach us just one important thing. And that was love. Jesus wanted us to love God, love our neighbors, love each other, and even love the people that we don't like so much. Can you imagine what the world would be like if all we cared about was love? I think it'd be a great piece. So let's work on that. And we'll see you next time. That was a really great story, but does that mean I don't get to wear my palms anymore? I know, and I, I made this really cool special message for my hand, but, you know, I think we just don't, didn't get it right. Well, I am not going to stop being the sun. Guys, y you can keep all that stuff, all right? Just remember the real reason of Palm Sunday, you know? When Jesus came to Jerusalem to live out the life God had for him, it was a great day. Here's Dr. Lulu. Einstein, I know, it's time for science again. You guys, this is gonna be so fun. We're gonna make something called a catapult and we're gonna use popsicle sticks, a spoon and rubber bands. That's all you need. And you can launch stuff all over your house. It's gonna be great. But you know what? I need a friend to come help me and you may need someone to help you attach the rubber bands. So let me take a second and find a friend, okay? So you take eight popsicle sticks and you make a stack and then you put a rubber band tightly around each end. And remember, this is a cool activity for you to do with your family. So make sure you get someone to help you. Then you take two popsicle sticks, you stick one through the bottom of the stack and the other one on top of the stack. And then you connect those with the rubber band at the end. Then you put the spoon on top of the top stick and attach it with the rubber band. Now you're ready to catapult. Hey, now our catapult's ready. And do you know what is so fun? You can go around your house with your family and find things to catapult.
So I hope you have fun with your catapult. You get to launch things all over your house. It's such an exciting thing, just like Palm Sunday was exciting. When Jesus came to town, everybody was so happy to see him. They waved their palm branches in their hands. I hope you have fun today in Amped, and I hope you like learning about Palm Sunday. See you next time. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Brooklyn Bible Church. We're so, so glad, glad you're here. here. We're here to celebrate Palm Sunday weekend. Check this out. Palm Sunday is... Palm Sunday is, um... It's when Jesus was on the donkey to Jerusalem. God is Palm Sunday is when Jesus rode in, um, into Jerusalem on a donkey. Behold, your king is coming! See you on the donkey! And the people put their coats down so the, don so Jesus, so the donkey can walk on the back way. Okay, that's good. Woo! People um, had um, palm tree sleeves and they um, they waved at him and when he walked by they put them on the ground so he could walk on it. They hold their palms and then, and then waved it into the air and then they sing this song. Wow, there we go! Okay. <laughs> Palm Sunday is important because the week after Palm Sunday, Jesus died on the cross for us. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. God so loved the world, he gave his only Son, and whoever believes in him shall not perish, will have him turn away. And that's why we celebrate Palm Sunday. Hey kids, welcome back to Amped Up Art. My name is Lindsay, and guess what? Today is Palm Sunday. We're gonna be doing a special Palm Sunday craft, but it's super nice outside today, so we're gonna switch things up and we're gonna do the craft outside. Come on, let's go. See kids, it's so nice out here today. So for today's craft, you're gonna be making your very own hand palm tree. All you're gonna need for this craft is a toilet paper roll, some Play-Doh, mine's in a cute egg for Easter, some green construction paper, some scissors, a pencil to trace your hand, and some little push pins like this. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna trace your hand onto the green construction paper. Once you've got your hands traced on your green paper, you're gonna cut them out. All right, so now that you've got all of your hands cut out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your Play-Doh, you're gonna get about half of it and you're gonna smash it down to make like a little pancake. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the top of your toilet paper roll, just like that. Cover the whole top. You might need to add some more just like I do so that it covers the entire top. You might need to play around with it for a few minutes, get it just how you wanna get it. So then once you get it on there, just squeeze it around the sides to make sure it doesn't slip off. All right, so once it looks like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one of your hands, you're gonna take one of the little push pins and be careful, these can hurt if they stick in your skin. You're gonna place the hand like that, push the push pin into the Play-Doh and it'll stay stuck like that. So then you do that with all the hands that you have cut out.
All right. So once you have all of your hands on your palm tree, what you're going to do is while you're holding the bottom, put your hand on top and kind of push them down just a little bit to make the palm branches face down like a real palm tree. Then once you shape it, you can move it, your hands like that to spread them out a little bit. And then you've got your Palm Sunday palm trees. So we wanna see you guys do this craft. Send in your pictures or videos to info at ampedwestchurch.com. Happy Palm Sunday. All righty, we'll see you next Sunday. Did you enjoy watching Amped today? Invite a friend to watch by sending them the link to this episode. They can get an AMP subscription box too. Just have them text the word AMPED to 704-343-8955.